interpretation that it's being live streamed. Yeah, I, I, say, I know yeah. my uh, my thumbnail picture made me look all professional. I'm like, let me turn on my video <laughs> and fix that right now. I've just I've never seen Wade without a mustache, and that picture's creepy. <laughs> I'm hearing double, so I've got a tab somewhere open. Uh oh. Ryan, can we draw on Wade's picture? Is there like. Can we draw his mustache? <laughs> I've heard Ryan, can we draw on Wade's picture like four times now, and I'm trying to figure out where it's oh, coming boy. from. <laughs> Do you How have... are you, Alex? There. there okay, I found I'm the well. tab. Yeah, I don't know. We, we we meet often enough that uh, I don't. I've talked to you like only like what five days ago. Yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah, always good to keep connected with the community. That goes for our audience out there too. Stay connected with your communities. Well, speaking of which, common. how do how are we going to see all like the uh, the wonderful like. Uh, Discord. comments that come flowing in is that just going to be in the chat here it's yeah we're gonna have to go into discord to see it it's not going to be integrated um all right so we are if you're if you're watching this on youtube now and you're you're thinking that looks a little different that's because uh our normal platform restream is uh, having some technical difficulties right now we couldn't get into the studio like we usually do so we uh pivoted to zoom I may lift up this this Zoom room in like two minutes, and then now here we are. Uh, so we don't have the, the all the fancy graphics and stuff, but we still have the chat and in Discord and on YouTube. So YouTube and Discord are connected. We just won't see it on on Zoom. Just just make sure you mute your tab, unlike Ryan. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> mute all your tabs. I had multiples. I had like three tabs open with the link to the Ooh. video. I was like, whoops. <laughs> the fun of when your technology goes down. But we had the technology to pivot fast and get it going. And we're streaming, so. Dude, hey. I want to I fill it up. I want to see how many hosts we can get at once and all yell at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling? Total chaos. There's going to be yelling? Excellent. <laughs> There's always yelling. For some reason, all of my video settings got reset. And now I look like a red grayish alien. It's great. Looks good on you, though. <laughs> I don't know. You look, fi you look fine uh, on the video that I'm seeing. I, it's just me. I did get this new monitor, and I have been messing around with the settings. So uh, that could be it, too. I don't know. I really like that background now. It looks it looks really familiar for some reason. Yes. Can't so figure it out. One of us one of us needs to switch. Uh, okay. Hold on. There, I, there I, can I, only I, be I, one sorcerer supreme. I, I like thought it. you guys I, were just in the same place. I thought that was yeah. Well, I apparently we're mirrored. Um somehow Hold on. We both, I, we I, both I, tried I, to get in the same spot and it just mirrored us. Hold we on. can I got so you. Hold on. I have I have a good uh pre-show banter question for everybody here if i can you, go back it, to this if you were in <laughs> here we go. oh does it only does it only let us one talk at a time or does it cut, ev cut no, over no you can talk no you, oh, okay. we can, all, oh, we can oh, talk uh, over each other oh, okay well, i'm just making sure uh, <laughs> uh if you were in a food fight to the death what food would you use? A banana. Peanuts. Always, yeah, always. I was, I was thinking nuts because you just have like that allergy angle. You, hope, you hope they have an allergy. You That's hope. true. You I hope. mean, is Drano a food? <laughs> yeah, it is a and what is it like that? that uh, like dur is it durian fruit or something like that? The stuff that tastes oh, awesome but smells that thing, rancid. That would be so oh. hard to throw a durian at someone. All right, like dumb, it, durians it are big. Yeah. I don't even think it tastes that good, but That's they taste better you're... than they smell. I will give yeah, them that. I, I'm liking the Discord comments. Like, yeah, frozen hot dogs, large salami. So, so, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. so I read this in a, a Reddit thread. <laughs> and the, one, the one that won was, or the one that they got answered was, uh, 
crab legs, like spider crab legs. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a good one. If you hit someone with a, a crab leg, like pretty hard. Yeah. Right. Those, yeah. Are, those are like spiky and spiny. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah. Like it's, uh, it's going to hurt. Eight. Like <laughs> It's either that or like a coconut maybe. Yeah, a coconut could do some damage. Those things kill people falling out of trees. But so. but but then it's not going to be like a husked coconut. You're going to get a raw coconut. Like you gotta you gotta take off that initial like green stuff. So but what was the question? What's if you had to be in a food fight to the death, what kind of food would you use? Oh, well, I mean, isn't anything a food if you're brave enough? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, an, an edible at least food. once, anyway. You know, at least. I mean, once. again, Ian's point still stands. Like anything's edible if you're brave yeah. enough. So, and live <sighs> edible and livable, friable edible. and delishable. Do wow. Do you know what that's from? No, that's a, no. That's an old internet quote. Uh, it's okay. Nobody else needs to. Know. Friable and delishable. What is friable? Uh, Jones do? barbecue and foot massage. Go look it up. Oh, uh, I I do know that one. Yes. Yeah. That is good stuff. <laughs> so what is the what is the plan here, Ryan? Massage oil. <laughs> how how are we doing this in Zoom? Um, well, we're here now. We're live streaming, so are we're we live? live. Heads right up, oh, we're live. Right. We're live on YouTube right now. People are that. chatting with us in the Discord. So we're we're there. We're it's here and we're be... there. Yeah. Uh, we don't have is all the fun restream stuff because restream is 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 having a bad time right now. Mm. Uh, so we're gonna to have to just stream. we're just gonna have to look at Discord and Zoom at the same time. And we don't we don't somebody pointed out that I didn't, I didn't even think of is that uh, you know we don't have the broken finger. Yeah, no broken right now. finger. Someone just changed that. So I'll just have to go like doo -doo -doo -doo, and oh, then couldn't, that, couldn't that's we how it? we start. <laughs> we don't have it anywhere I mean, that we can play it through. Can you do your can you in the house. screen and play the video? Yeah. <laughs> Can at least get a little window of it. I mean, I can I, I can bring up like last week's on like the YouTube and just like hold it up <laughs> to the screen. Yeah, just hold like, it. There we go. We'll figure it out. It might be even more off the rails than normal, Dude, but it'll get figured live. out. We're going to live. No, I feel like that's something that I. We I've can do one of those Brady Bunch before. intros. We could play a video through Zoom, but I don't have it readily available. me we do here and we to, need like, re-export it from from final cut we need one more square how, back we just can do uh, it see depends it de you need one more square it depends on how how big your window is for me we are in two columns of f four <laughs> well he <laughs> mentioned the brady bunch so we need one oh, more square weird. to get the, yeah. the three by three on my screen uh, so unfortunately I'm we're all in different positions relative to each other so this is crazy like wade's right yeah. below me and ryan's to the <laughs> yeah. left and you're, no, you're, wade, you're... yeah wade center square for me oh, yeah, yeah i was just saying wade's wade's center, center for, for me, me. Yeah. oh that's even better i'm, I am, I'm like I am... yeah he's right there for me wait is, wait is the paul metal. lind of us <laughs> Paul <laughs> I want wow. to be the Gilbert Godfrey, but I'll take Paul Lynn. Generalissimo Fr Francisco Franco is still dead. Oh man, that is something. You know, it's crazy. I'm looking at the restream in the background right now. It must be pulling the preview from YouTube. Um, because I can see stuff, but I can't go into the studio. That's crazy. I converted it to a RTMP. Oh, is that why? Okay, for the Zoom thing. God, All right, so, so that's on next reason. week's lead story for us being restream having been hacked. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait Maybe, for it. Yeah. They got hacked via Okta, of course. Yeah, everybody <laughs> gets hacked via Okta. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okta and default settings. That's oh, it. <laughs> what if I went to schedule? Now. now I'm just playing with someone to break everything further because why not? Um, I've, got, I've got my Got your, oh. got your budget. Has, has anybody seen the things going on with Sports Illustrated and and a and getting caught using AI generated articles? Yeah, I heard a little bit about that. I, <laughs> it is hilarious their response to this at this point. Okay. Um. So they were initially saying their initial response to being found out they were being investigated was literally to take down some pictures. And put up different ones saying that um, it was being done because those people didn't want to write under false names because they didn't want to be known. 
And as the investigation kept going and going and going, they tried to say, oh, it's come to our attention that there are people turning in these articles using AI generated things. So we're trying to remove them quickly from our site. And <laughs> uh-huh. I like my, my, my favorite part of what you just said, though, is it's like if only there was some literary function that's existed for like hundreds of years right. writing under a pseudonym like a like a French word like nom de plume or something. <laughs> and that, they're, now they're, they're trying to say it's it's not even their fault. They work with a partner company oh, and yeah. it's the partner's company's policy to use these pseudonyms and things like that. And it's like, wait, just how far are you going to try to pass the blame on this one? It's it's risk acceptance all the way down. (laughs) And it's like turtle risk acceptance, turtle risk acceptance. (laughs) I'm scared. Where are we? This is, is this the new zoom? Zoom. No, this is the the old zoom. Zoom? This this is the old zoom. This isn't the new fancy thing. (laughs) Hi guys, good afternoon. But it's what I could build. We're live. We're live. How many zooms are there? How many zooms are there? Why are there multiple zooms? I'm scared. I I read (laughs) an article about the zoomers the other day, and I think an article in the in the journal. Uh, well, yeah. Where else do you read news? Did it make it hard to go boom, boom, boom? I have baby zoomers. I have uh. By the way, Corey, do you want to take it today? Because I literally just drove into the house. Like I drove, like literally, he like drew drove in through the living room and through the living room, out of the car, car. through the wall, right like above me in the kitchen. Yeah, I got, I got yeah. nothing. Man. So if you want to kick a... it off, I, I, I literally quickly. four seconds ago was the first I opened the notion. So I'd say I'm very well prepared and ready to go. All right, you got it. Oh, we, yeah. how, about, how about okay? I'll take it then. And I'll just do a general introduction without talking about the stories. And oh, no, we'll I can talk about the stories. Just go in, just go into Octa. Octa. We'll talk talking. for the rest. Gone? Octa, Octa, that's it. We're done. We're done for the day. Yeah, we're going to get stuck on <laughs> Octa, and then that's it. I'll probably do that one last, because well, once we last get to Octa, one? it's over. Who, who yeah, was yeah. it? I, I, it was like I can take it in you on, John. I, I didn't just walk in the door, but I do also have this Capri Sun. Just ready to go. <laughs> oh, so that proves it. You're ready. Is it, this, is this episode sponsored is it, is by that strawberry Capri kiwi? Sun? Strawberry kiwi. This is a strawberry is that? kiwi. That is, is literally oh, that's the yummy. Cadillac of Capri Suns right there. <laughs> One of the Cadillac. <laughs> that is the luxury of sedan of juice pouches, sir. <laughs> One of those Capri Suns will give you enough sugar for the next three days. I swear. Usually, it's these fun. are reserved for outdoor activities. These are great for skiing or other things where you're like outside and need like a packet of sugar. But oh, uh, we're gonna I'm roll gonna the finger. I'm going to pop oh, one for the news. I'm, getting I'm, ready. Scared. I'm, getting I'm scared. Ready. I'm ready, though, but I'm scared. I think so, Wade, are are, change is scary. Wade, are you up for sp- speaking about the uh, Splunk vulnerability? No. <laughs> That's like the one I didn't read. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. John, we All don't right. speak from authority. We speak from chaos. All of us are equally prepared. It's fine. Let me let, let me read it real quick. Code execution. Give them time to read. <laughs> Extensible style seat language transformations. All right, risk mitigation. The one we didn't get Python to like, that we actually talked about for a while after like the live stream was the municipal water plants. In- yes, we should we should add that into the yeah. list. If it's yeah, not already there, there you go. It's, at the very with that. it's there. <laughs> not right, the NXP right. chip. Hey, Roll the finger, Ryan. Let's, I, let's send it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Give us the finger, Ryan. Yeah. This Come is on. this is rough, but I think, I think we work. can talk over it too this time. Yeah, we can no. say that's narrative. Should you? Honor system. Should you? <laughs> that's progress. <laughs> Everyone be oh, wait. quiet. Oh, wait, no, no, Where's play it. Go ahead and play it, and I'll. Information security talking about InfoSec news up next. John Strand. <laughs> Hello and oh. welcome everybody to another edition of Black Hills Information Security talking about news. In this episode of Talking About News, we have stories, I guess. 
that we will be talking about. So that should be fun with some InfoSec stories heading your way here shortly while I'm dancing to give my co-host time to actually read the stories. Just shows how professional <laughs> we are. We don't need to read the stories. It's just repeats of the same crap we've been dealing with for 17 years. So give us a few moments. Uh, but this edition of Black Hills Information Security Talking About News is brought to you by Anti-Siphon Security Training. We do training. That happens to be security training. And Black Hills Information Security, we do hacking stuff, stopping hackers or hacking things or whatever. So check those two things out because that's important. So let's go ahead and let's get started, everybody. I'm in this new non-restream interface and it's freaking me out a little bit. Ryan, are we doing okay here? Yeah, we're, we're doing comments okay. Comments or anything. Is this thing on? I can't see any I'm comments. I have to look at You got to use the Discord. You got to use Where's Discord chat. Gotta get on I got to use Discord. Someone yeah, yeah, give me a I, link or something. I can explain. Alan, so spoiled. How, your mind. how would I join Discord if I wanted to, right? But like, if I was to do that, where would I go? Give me a link in the, oh, in the chat. You, okay, somebody. I'll give you a link in the, in the chat here. It's so lonely. Uh, Ryan, I thought the links are in the bio. Oh, there we go. The doodly do. Let's go ahead and let's do, go to that real quick. And now you got to go. All right. Now it wants me to, I, now it wants me to log in. I Let me grab out. that link and put that over. What an absolute disaster. By I'm the way, printing this is out. I'm printing out all the comments. Don't worry. I have a live dot matrix totally, printer. Just printing yeah. them one by one. Just so <laughs> everybody knows, this is not the fault of my elite crack team. This is totally my fault. We uh, don't do we, crack. Wait. We We're pivoted we well, all right? Crack? We're still up and running. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So what's so the channel? So what so happened right here? Am I in better that, together? Uh, restream is is kind of having a bad day, and it's just not working for us. So at at like last minute, like two minutes before, uh, we had to get things going here. I, I I set this up within two minutes on Zoom, so we could at least stream. Two minutes, and here we are. So God damn! All right, so there we go. I must <laughs> be on the way. Talk about the, hacks. The Zoom link There's... on Discord. Yeah, I must be. Around. The I must link I just right sent you John because Bronwyn the... is giving me shit. Mm -mm. She's <laughs> like, quit, taking, quit, quit blaming third parties. So, okay, so. we should first of all, we should talk about the water district one because we talked about it. that after the show last. This is kind of making waves in the OT industry, oh, which waves. we don't talk about the OT industry that mm. much. Uh. Shout out to all the people out there wearing hard hats every day. I mean, I don't know how you do hard it. They make you look Respect. good, though. Respect. But yeah, so the, basically, um, I'm. I guess we don't have an article up, but I'm just gonna give it I'm straight off there, the cuff. So you, he's, he's getting you know this information will be wrong, so I just want to say that. But basically, <laughs> long story short, uh, uh, what is it called? Free Iran or <laughs> something? Free Iran. Are you talking about like Stuxnet? I, I, an and... Iranian, an Iranian threat group who is trying to join in on the Israeli-Palestinian action went after which, which devices made by uh, basically an Israeli OT company. And they probably just went on Shodan and searched for the uh, this device type. It's basically mm -hmm. a PLC HMI type of deal. And then they compromised them all with a zero day. And essentially, one of those compromised devices happened to be a water district in Pennsylvania. Just um, Google water hacked. Ryan. <laughs> Google water hacked. Ian just gave us the link. Uh, so, it. Ryan, you have the link, sir. You've got the power. So apparently it now also there's there been go. an update and it affects another uh, water district in Texas. Um, the first one was the Municipal Water Authority of Aliquipia or Aliquipa in Western PA. Um, and We're going to find the... out from somebody in Philly that that's like, that's not how you say it. It's Aqua. Yeah. Aqua, Aqua, Aqua. <laughs> Well, it's, it's West, it's Western PA. So it would be oh. the other side. This is the uh, oh, Appalachian the or the, uh, I guess, kind of Appalachians, Allegheny. It's first side of the whatever. state. Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. Basically uh, rural part of the state. And uh, it, it specifically says a photo the water authority provided to news outlets showed the front panel of a PLC, a toaster size box, often abbreviated, abbreviated as PLC, which I just said, used to automate physical processes that displayed an anti-Israeli message. <laughs> a sign I... above it said primary PLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So a little on the nose there, don't you think? Um, there's there. OK, so I've got a really, really cynical part of me on this. Like we've had a couple of different attacks. There was one down in Florida that we thought maybe was a uh, was a cyber attack. Turned out it wasn't. And then, of course, you had the stuff with Stuxnet um, and that was kind of a thing. But 
when I'm walking around RSA and a lot of these conferences and talking about vendors that are specifically focused on PLC, SCADA, ICS, OT technologies, I keep this, like it, it's a, it's a sad kind of like thing that's in the back of my head, but it seems like they're waiting for the day where something really bad happens with OT and people actually die to the point where it like can drive sales to their products. At that oh, point. Is that is that too cynical? Did I take this too far? That's really dark, John. Uh, yeah, well, yeah it's really, really dark. dark. But I'll do a darker one for you and not blame the security vendors. I oh, mean, go we for saw it. in California uh, the the power companies out there put off and deferred maintenance and deferred maintenance on on a lot of this operational technology and and the things, the trees and whatnot, and the underbrush. And they were literally the cause of massive wildfires and destruction. And why did they do it? Anyone care to guess? Money. money. Cut costs. That was it. Yes, it was money. That's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So oh, I have no doubt in my mind that it will take. Yeah. But, so these uh, water districts don't have a lot of money, though, I guess. No, so no, no. They they're don't. not no. like rolling in money. Well, so. yeah. So one of the things and, and this article kind of was would have been better discussed when Greg was around. But one of the things he said last week after the show ended, yes, we have secret conversations after the show's over. You have to come to the show to find out. But um. Basically, he said that the OT vendors were all just like essentially in the water, in the water space. Apparently, they when put under regulatory pressure. The water districts were like, nah, we're not. We can't afford this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we're see, all out of no. money. I feel right, like, like, like OT okay, okay, OK, OK. So let, let, let's riff on this just a little bit. Right. Because we constantly have these conversations with these different groups. And they're like, oh, it's really expensive for us to 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 upgrade all of our equipment. You installed the equipment once. I mean, it, it's kind of, I guess I'm getting cynical and I want to explain why I'm getting cynical and this lines up with it, right? Um, the first reason why I'm getting cynical is because I found out uh, through a, a, a person that I've known for a really obscenely long time that in the insurance space that, you know, BHIS always wanted to get on insurance boards for these insurance companies, right? So if there's a panel and there's a breach, you know, BHIS can do IR for those organizations. And this particular individual pointed out to me is like, no, BHIS doesn't want to be on those panels. And I'm like, why? Because the payment is a hundred to $125 per hour to work IR for breaches whenever you're hired underneath an insurance panel. And I'm like, what the freaking hell happened there? And what in inevitably happened was insurance companies are paying for this. So they wanted to get the cheapest that they possibly can. And there's a whole bunch of firms out there that are basically like, what we can do is we can outsource all of the technical parts to people in India, which by the way, I'm going to circle back to that in just a couple of seconds. So give me a moment. And then we can have people in the United States that are the IR managers that are the face of the technical response of that incident. And we can drive that price down as low as we possibly can. This sucks. Like this, this whole entire thing effing happened. And I didn't even know that this happened. Right. Um, and the reason why that concerns me is because it's driving a race to the bottom for security services to be as cheap as they possibly can. And it, 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 there was no standards for how an IR report was supposed to be or what proper IR was supposed to look like on the output of it. So we ended up with an absolutely crappy system for IR services for insurance companies. Great. Take that. And then also look at it from PCI ASV, right? PCI payment card industry with, you know, security and you got Visa, you got MasterCard, you got all these people coming together. You develop ASV standards for scanning. And it quickly became a cost per IP address game that went to the lowest possible bidder and just absolutely destroyed any validity that you would get for a PCI ASV. And when we're looking at like NERC SIP, when we're looking at SCADA ICS OT, you're looking at all of these different things. There's all these vendors that are standing on the sideline waiting for like the floodgates to open up and billions of dollars to go into this space. And it's not happening. You know, Ian was talking about it. You know, he wasn't joking at folks. I know that people are like, oh, Ian was joking about money. No, it absolutely was all about money. And my question is, how in the hell do we get beyond this? Right. Because like, when we were looking at the pen test space, a number of us got together years ago and we're like, this is what quality looks like. And the quality has stayed and the pricing has stayed in that area. 
And it seems like a lot of these other spaces, it's like, what the living hell are these different groups doing to help improve security in these specific spaces, other than just trying to keep shit as cheap as they possibly can? Sorry, well, I'm ranty because I've is, been driving all day, but I'm pissed. And I think that yeah, we've got the, to do the, something about this. The bar so is pretty low, though. The bar is super low. Like, really, what the other industries, at least from my perspective as a pen tester, one of the only things that matters is that there is a requirement they get a pen test. Yeah. Like it, the no, bar is low. It doesn't have agreed. No, 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 no. But I, but I disagree. The bar is low, but absolutely within this space, customers know what quality looks like and they know what absolute garbage looks like and the quality. And I'm, I'm also going to like some of the big five consulting firms. They're doing really good work. You look at rapid seven, we've seen some of their reports. They're doing really good work. So it never became this absolute race to the bottom. And trust me, there was a large amount of pen testing firms. If you go back 15, 20 years ago, they're like, I'll run Nessus and I'll charge an $20,000. There was a race to the bottom, but there was a number of people that pushed back against that race to the bottom. So it never really happened. I feel like that never really happened in the NERC SIP space. I no, feel no, like that I, never really I mean happened is, in the IR space either. Go ahead. What, what I mean is uh, there is no requirement for water districts to get pen tested that I know. No. So Agreed. I'm saying but like, it's not, uh, it's not that there's a race to the bottom. They're just not doing it. Yeah, like, they're yeah, just, it's even they're not trying. That. Yeah. It, it's that there's no requirement. SZA yeah. and a few others actually went so far as to offer them for free to get people to do them. Yes. They have These are government agencies. Well, they don't, yeah. they don't go based for on power companies. Yeah. For power companies, though, isn't like NERC SIP have some of the like the most expensive penalties? I don't, only, I don't necessarily think for, yeah, had, for, re if for only regulation wise. So if how do we, we how do we take that regulation lines to over to tech? If only we had an expert on compliance and GRC. Oh my God, Kelly <laughs> Wait, here. Wait. <laughs> Kelly, can you talk to us? Like, what are these organizations like? Let's talk specifically in like water treatment and power generation. What are they required to do whenever it comes to testing? Is it really loosey goosey? Is it very specific? What do we have there in that space? Well, I can't speak to the testing requirements, but I will jump back to what Wade said about fines. It's potentially $1 million a day for each offense. Um, and considering that, as we talked about earlier in the podcast, these are small water utilities, not big budgets. I would think that a $1 million fine would scare the bejesus out of them. But only if it's levied Wait, a, somebody else first. Is it, do we have any situations Wait, where there's that a $1 million fine, dollar fine for what? For for what? Her outstanding violation against NERC SIP. Oh, yeah. But these are water utilities. They aren't subject to NERC SIP. That's the problem. True. There is no NERC SIP for so water. So like, them subject. Yeah. yeah like, so I, I, I mean, I think that's the thing. Yeah. NERC SIP, why do they care about pen testing? Number one, it's or not even pen. I mean, pen testing is only the very beginning. This is like the walking, you know, one step in the door, but like the requirement for pen testing is outlined in NERC SIP and there are large fines. So basically that cost is part of their budget because they know they're screwed if they don't follow it. That isn't the case in water districts and they're going to do the minimum because technically that is sort of their job. Their job is Dude. to just make water cost as little as it possibly can cost. And one thing like- Oh no, I got to correct you there. They need to make water cost as little as possible for Nestle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, by the way, Ouch. this edition of Black Ocean Information Security <laughs> talking about news is totally not brought to you by Nestle or <laughs> it will never be. Capri Sun, uh, probably also Capri Sun. Ooh, <laughs> Capri Sun. <laughs> but also, I I I went to an MSP conference uh last year and we're talking about small municipalities. 56% of the critical infrastructure in America is protected by MSPs and MSSPs. Um, and there's some amazing MSPs, by the way, out there. There's some amazing MSSPs out there, but still a tremendous number of them. We're talking about dollars and cents. They're basically, they won the contract because they were the cheapest MSP for that contract. And a bunch yeah. of MSPs, unfortunately, still have that mindset of being this race to the bottom on it as well. I do want to call out, uh, I had a quote from Flackfest that I really liked and I wanted to call out. Said the Zoom upgrade. No, no, that's not it. God yeah. damn. Where's that quote? <laughs> well, you gotta stop upgrade. just reading these things. <laughs> well, and what we've learned is John here. will completely like Ron Burgundy. Yeah, Ron Burgundy. Yeah, Ron Ron Burgundy. Burgundy. Here's ah, a question. Uh, here's a question based ahead. off of um potential fines, etc. 
what are they going to do, especially if it's a municipality, find it into oblivion, stop people from getting yeah, what does water? That look like? I mean, what, <laughs> what does, does that look like? What does it look like? It shuts you down, power. Yeah, I mean, well, you're, not we gonna, know- you're not going to cut off power to, to a whole city, to a, a municipality. You're not going to cut off water to it. You're going to wind up with a worse situation than if they were hacked. In fact, basically, that's doing what these hack, what some of these criminals or APT groups are trying to do anyways and shut that stuff off. So what is the actual end game of it to go ahead and find like, them? How do to those punish fines them? look? Well, no, I agree. What, what is the real well, punishment that, that actually will stick with it as opposed to saying, fine, go ahead and do that. We still have to go ahead and do our jobs anyways. Yes. So, I, I Well, what you got to do is you got to do what PG and E did uh, <laughs> where you split your company in two and the municipality that has to pay all stuff uh, is publicly funded the one that goes the, bankrupt and then all so, the and then all the profits go to your shareholders as as someone who lives in san diego and pays the highest power rate in the entire the oh, entire united expensive. states right so one company owns us they have their company and then so it's sdg and e and then sempra they make so much money that there's currently law measures to finally kick them out like there's voting going on and that's also why I know Nick Sip because we'll say I, I worked there for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think, and in, in, that wasn't a very serious answer. I mean, I guess, does anyone have a serious answer for how I, to I do. Like, get? Okay. I, I do. And I know it's rare that I have the serious answer, but no, Uh-oh. one of the things that, that these organizations that a lot of people miss is these water treatment plants, any OT or ICS, and they say, well, why can't they just patch? Why can't they just upgrade? Often when they buy these technologies, they buy them for 30 years. That's the amortization rate over. I'm going to. So I used to work at a company. I can say this publicly. I used to work at a company called HD Supply. You might be familiar with it. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. I think One it's 4K of the features supply that now. they would do <laughs> is if you were a, a small town, you could call HD Supply Waterworks and say, we need a water treatment plant. And they would basically spec it out like soup to nuts, everything. It was almost like Sim City. It was like you drop yeah. <laughs> these part numbers on the ground and you will have a water treatment plant. Um, so I heard a lot about how this stuff works and working in security. And they said, you buy these things for 30 years. When you tell me 10 years into the patching cycle that I can't use this device anymore, I can't connect it to the internet, I can't use this PLC, we don't have a plan to replace this for another 20 years. So they're working on completely different timescales than we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's so a, yeah, hey. but that, that doesn't, that doesn't explain though about what the fines actually do. What, when they find the problem, we know that they need to be patched. So they, that they need to be upgraded, but how do you enforce that when no, no, in the yeah, end, I, they're not going ahead. Okay. And really so, paying the fu- ultimate price I don't think fines all. are going to work. I, I you basically no. have to require them to do things. And like one example of things can move faster in that 30 year time scale. One example is supply chain requirements that say you can't use Chinese products in X Y or Z product. You you can't find them. What you have to do is just say you have to do this. There's yeah. no downside. You just have to do it. Like you could you could also block that, federal funding. You could block It sounds like we're going to so yeah. I think the federal funding is going to be the thing, right? Like we need a like a cyber new deal type of thing where yeah. we just go in <laughs> cyber, new deal. Cyber, <laughs> cyber new deal, to right? Stop we, cyber to stop we cyber 911. We need a We cyber bring up new all these sock oh analysts. God. We 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 have like the straight boys camp for cybersecurity just like how they did when they built all the trails <laughs> and everything. No, you don't know. This is this is like old school history like the they work had project, the youth camp WPA. That, the, yeah, the work project cyber work project. Cyber work yeah. project Work projects, yeah. <laughs> you imagine how quick our cyber game would go up we just did that real quick and then we just put every single one of them at a water treatment plant and just slowly improve the entire country if i get drafted i'm wade wells i'm voting Project for Sock, I, i'm <laughs> blaming the election <laughs> wade and... wales and... <laughs> so yeah. and also if we want to if we want to pivot to power companies but i know that we're talking about water treatment plants um if you want to do some research some light reading Google legislative light. capture and power companies. And that'll answer a lot of questions about why power companies aren't actually upgrading their infrastructure because they're not under a federal umbrella. It's usually state by state by state or region when it comes to power companies. And further, there's very specific things that power companies are allowed to do and make money off of doing those things by setting up their margins and going through and doing smart 
technology for like homes and doing upgrades because of computer security issues and concerns generally aren't things that a power company can do. Many power companies, not all, and actually charge the governments that they're working for, the municipalities, a profit margin associated with it. But things like running you know, high tension power lines over long distances, they can make money off of that. So if you if you ever want to try to like look into this and understand just how big of a nightmare it is, look at power grid in the United States and specifically look at legislative capture and how these organizations make their money and how they spend money with a number of different uh, groups to try to enforce or try to make sure the laws are in place that allow them to continue making money. And in short, if they aren't going to make money on upgrading a PLC, they're effing not going to do it. Like, it's just not going yeah. to happen. That sounds period. like a lot of boring reading. It so, is okay. fantastic. <laughs> Wait, Allow me to steer so much this podcast. Fun. I'm steering the podcast back into our normal uh, craziness. So if everyone would look in the Discord, I've pasted the image of the uh, hacked device. Yeah. <laughs> device. Oh so my God. I, I just want to get everyone's graphical, like, I mean, is it good? Like, give, everyone give a number score of like, how, what, okay, what would you rate can this we compared to? The, hold on. Can we set the, to the So the 10, 10 is Hackers, the movie. No. And zero oh, no. is a PowerPoint about how you got hacked. I, you know what? No, uh, for so, me, 10 so, is when the North Koreans took over Sony and it was like the zombies reaching through the screen and the whole thing. That was pretty cool. That, that was, was pretty 10. cool. That was, <laughs> I was a solid nine, but I'm going to say a 10 was Cookie Monster virus in yes. Movie Hackers. And Hackers. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, so a 10 would be seven. another one of my favorites was it made all of your icons like fall to the bottom of your screen. Um, oh, yeah. It's a virus Ooh, a long time ago good. that did that where literally everything fell to the bottom of the screen. Um, and I remember correctly, if you had a computer mm -hmm. that, you know, could like check, what is it? potentiometer or something like that you could turn your computer and like your icons would roll around your screen it was awesome that I was will say this is getting pretty high marks in the discord I, I i took away one point for the grammatical error which i'm sure bronwyn also noticed oh i gave and it I also, for the grammatical I also error. Gave took away one point <laughs> for no there's nothing moving it, it, it needs I, I, listen this is this is 2023 Everything, it's got to be moving or else i'm not going to watch I, it okay so it's you're getting memes, memes, memes and gifts my gifs. point is the font is a really good size it's okay. a nice red. It's eye popping. It gets to the <laughs> point in the cleanest, most efficient way. As far as slides go, this ain't a 10, right? This ain't even a nine, but it's a solid eight. It, not too much text. That's important. I'm glad Did they you knew know the resolution. every equipment They're... made in Israel is Cyber Avengers legal target. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. So, all, all right. right. Next article. Let's move on. Uh, do we want to talk about the Splunk zero day quickly? Oh, we got Splunked. Yeah, yeah, there's a <laughs> there's a proof Put that of in exploit. your pipe and splunk it. Oh, a proof of concept that. exploit for a high severity flaw in Splunk Enterprise that can lead to remote code execution has been made public. It's out on GitHub, mm. where all good exploits go, and it's written in Python. Like all good exploits should be written. Well, in. I mean, all of so is Splunk. Splunk is written in Python, so <laughs> so it helps. Yeah. Python it helps. too, mostly. Mostly yeah. Python too. They're gonna upgrade though eventually. Mm. Yeah, right now. Yeah. So oh, no, they just went to Cisco. They are never upgrading that. Oh, no. <laughs> they are going to no. buy power uh, uh, Python two just to own the like the no. no, but the interesting thing about it is it impacts Splunk eight X, for which there is no patch because it's not supported anymore. Mm, it's dead. Ooh. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. This is going to be another <laughs> Microsoft, like, okay, we're going to do a one-off patch for this one thing, just this one time, but you should all update. Oh, it depends job. on how big, how, if their biggest customers on Splunk 8 or not. Uh, uh, that's what I'm, I'm wondering, how many Splunk 8 instances are still out there? Like, Yeah. The other thing about- The showdown, is, Batman. Yeah, quick, okay. to, quick to show exactly. that. Yep, yep. So the one thing... it says it says Splunk nine is as is, is uh, vulnerable too, but it also implies it's going to get a patch so. though. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. what what he's saying is Splunk eight is vulnerable and it's not going to get a patch. Yeah, but um, basically the interesting thing about this, we're not going to go too deep in the weeds on the exploit itself, but the thing you need to know is that is like a user land type of exploit from the UI. It is like a I uploaded a malicious document. It is not like I have backend access to Splunk. It, so, right. you know, that that QA analyst you gave access to Splunk like 16 years ago. So we could look, definitely look at the app logs from his app. He can exploit this. It, it was a question on that. 
is it the 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 an analyst someone with just regular level of kind of read access can use it or can someone insert the pdf into logs or something captured inside of splunk so right. could I, as an attacker so, oh you're saying so it, it, like, it's pre-authentication all right so the url is um the login url in the code is en-us account login return to en account so basically coming back into the same place so that is the url so it's pre no, it requires auth john it requires auth what it, it does require auth Oh, okay. Sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Here's the here's the full URL. Then Splunk D upload indexing preview output mode JSON. No binary check. Um. All right. So yes. Sorry. I, I, that I was yeah, reading. The so code. It's that is you that is where you're grabbing the variables for the authentication. Sorry. My bad. Yes. This is the this is like a, an exploit in the Splunk web interface. Okay. So like if you're exposing this to the internet, you shouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, uh, it's get job it's search not, ID. Um, so I'll ask I'll ask one of the blue teamers here and, and wait as well, because it's been a minute since I've been in Splunk. What would be the attack vector for this? Is this it seems uh, like analyst uploads need... a PDF? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, anybody if you just up so I'm I'm looking at the screenshots of it right now. You just upload an XML file and boom, you got access. So yep. know, where, it depends the de depending on your organization. Depending on your organization, right? If you're locked down properly, and like like Corey said, if your users have the proper permissions, I think you're going to be at least decently fine until that so, one person who has this upload action. Wait, right. I've got a Splunk can get a, pretty locked down. It can be, um, but a lot of Splunk instances, correct me if I'm wrong, wait, are multi-tenant. That means that you can have people that are working tickets. They can tune things, and then you also have people that can just be viewers and can actually view alerts with no actual modifications to like the actual tickets or the alerts or detects. Def definitely or correct. Yeah. yeah so, you definitely can part partition it out, I would say, or like role base access pretty, pretty well. Um, as far as I as like normal practices that I've seen in the past, it's usually the security team almost always has their own instance, at yeah. least the big corporations I have. And those ones are particularly locked down as well as the data sets. So you don't yeah. have to necessarily give every user permission to every data set that's in there. But this functionality looks like you just need to upload something. So hopefully you have all your apps locked down because there's, there's some crazy Splunk apps that let you do all sorts of stuff. But mm -hmm. with the XML stuff, I'm wondering if it just says upload malicious XML. Isn't the dashboards are written in XML? So I'm wondering if you had dashboard creation permissions. So know? it's apparently search job requests. Yeah. So like basically anyone with search access could exploit this. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing that I, you know, we were talking about MSS. <laughs> I'll just go on uh, go on the record and say that I will wager there's an MSS out there that has like a thousand plus users in Splunk that they don't know who any of them are. Like, um, I will say though there is a um, there is a workaround for those that can't patch. You can actually go in the config and you can disable um, enable jobs XLT. You can turn that off, which basically could disable functionality if if people are uploading um, search queries as XLTs then. There might be in trouble, but you can like there is a workaround, so that's at least good. Maybe they won't have to patch Splunk eight. Okay, I so I'm reading the POC you... readme. Prerequisites are Splunk credentials with upload permission to add data methods. So mm. that's I do pretty love high. How you execute the script via the Splunk <laughs> via the new mm -hmm. search query? That that's pretty funny. I find that hilarious. <laughs> it's Where did odd. John's camera like followed him into a closet? Yeah, he what got a, a new. <laughs> Cracky camera, did whoa! <laughs> I just so so it'll follow me. I can lock it, but I can also unlock it. And uh, I don't know, whatever. It, it, hey it's, Siri, it's... send alarm for four a.m. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> there's a, <laughs> there's no, a Siri. Also... <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Okay, who, what do we want to talk about next? You want to talk about own cloud? I feel like I haven't seen own cloud in a while, but I feel like what this is right up Ralph's alley. Let's jump into own cloud. Let's Let, I got it. Ralph and I, I feel like both use own cloud in like circa 2013 and haven't touched it since. But I don't know it's what, still, what's up. It's with this still thing? out there. I mean, it's a. It's. I a thought next cloud was the thing. Well, yeah, anyway. because it's next. Get it? All right. Anyway, oh, I, get it. Um, I get it. <laughs> this is wait. This is another one where they're like maximum ten severity score. Yeah. Well, so here's the deal. Here's the, the council deal. of the it's, We're uh, waiting for this unicorn. 
so own cloud is just like a file share, like self-hosted or enterprise hosted file sharing platform, right? So like the equivalent of like replacing your Dropbox, right? Or, um, you know, Google Drive. And it's been around for a while. It's written in PHP. And obviously there's a PHP vulnerability eventually that comes along. And this one is uh, remote code ex exploitable. A lot of people have it exposed to the internet um, because it's designed for sharing files with other people. So um, kind of an easy exploit and definitely a ransomware target. I wonder yep. if this is going to be another one that's just going to just keep giving like mm -hmm. Citrix bleed and I just a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Here. Honestly, I, I I'm curious. Like honestly, I should just start doing this for every show. Just go in every show and look at what products are, and then get showdown numbers for every single one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. how many it. are there? Let's yeah, see the I numbers. <laughs> yeah, I would guess there's probably a decent number of these. I, I would also guess that there are a lot of. Um, managed deployments of this. And when I say managed yeah. deployment, I would say like Synology applications or, um, you know, cloud hosting providers that provide own cloud as a checkbox you can check in a web interface. That stuff is going to be probably the slower to patch. The people that are running their own will be able to easily patch. It's mostly just like the, you know, as a service type deployments that are going to be Probably well, the, other, like the whole the other... stack was stood up in like one click of a button in Amazon. Yes, type thing. exactly. Yeah, or yeah. or like in your Synology NAS that doesn't even get updates anymore because it's some app that some developer mm -hmm. stopped supporting or well, something. The, yeah. the other Although side... if the movement vulnerability taught us anything, it's that even people who can patch won't necessarily. Yeah. Right? I mean, so uh, this yeah. one, like uh, the self-hosted uh, people, they're going to have the easiest access, but they're also going to be the least likely to like know that it's even out there. They're just like, I don't know. I just installed it and I wanted to get files. Like, I don't know that they're someone's out. poor grandma is going to be like, remember your, my yeah. computer you set up for me. It just says, please pay Bitcoin. I don't know what <laughs> yes, to do. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking well, of right. NAS devices, we talked about Synology. Let's talk about what is it? Zycel. 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 It's definitely French. I feel like we have to <laughs> outline these because we will talk about how there's a critical vulnerability in like a home NAS product. And then like six months later, we'll be talking about it again when it gets used for some botnet. So <laughs> if you have a Zycel NAS, please go patch it or just rip it off the network. I don't know. You're calling. I mean, just assume it's compromised at this point. This is a, yeah. this yeah. Is a trivial exploit. Uh, the like BOCs out there. Um, it's a know. it's a nice little combo. You know, you, you read through the comp. Go back up to all the CVEs, Ryan. You, you see those nice little, you, like these as an attacker are just like the words. It's command injection flaw. Beautiful. Improper chef's authentication. Kiss. Oh man, chef's kiss. Like it, yeah, this is a <laughs> lot, and it's pretty bad. Well, Why but, were all these disclosed? Was it some researcher that just was like, I don't like these products? <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that this product is like at the bottom of the barrel for their line. They do a lot of other stuff. So like they make firewalls and other next gen firewalls, but they make like one NAS. Okay. <laughs> right, let's figure, yeah, let's figure out how proof. these vulnerabilities work. Figure they out how were these discovered by work. bug prove, which yeah. is and then, then we test all their other equipment if they're the flaws exist across everything they definitely okay, didn't copy it. and paste any code don't ask no nope, none right mm -hmm. i was about to say there's uh, an no entire bug bounty industry already <laughs> doing that <laughs> now, they're like Ooh, Did... what about their firewalls i mean you know we could talk about these vulnerabilities you know to we're blue in the face and we can say hey you know like don't connect this crap directly to the internet but yeah. the the people who connect this crap directly to the internet frankly, aren't listening to us, right? Yes. They're, mm -hmm. right? Well, it's also, it's, uh, what is it? Universal plug and play, the, the bane of the existence of yes. ISPs everywhere. Like basically, for those that don't know, universal plug and play is an application where a device on your internal network can say, hey, firewall, I want to open a port. And the firewall is like, cool. You don't know the password for me, but I'm going to open the port for you. And then let's so, do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, game, so, baby. Woo. A lot, <laughs> let's game. Yeah. So a lot of the time, I mean, you need these, it for game. We need it. And honestly, like genuinely, I think we've as an industry moved more away from UPnP. Like it now it's more plug uh cloud based stuff for video games. Like back in the day though, you had to like basically open your router to the internet to even play Halo. Well you had but, to read um, the you had to read the documentation. It was like you wanna be able to host a game, you gotta go open up all these yeah, stuff. Yep. Yeah. 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 So and I mean there's a reason why standby. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the long story short is that there's a chance that some of these NAS devices were exposed without people's knowledge. It didn't require you to go into the admin panel on your router necessarily and say, open this up to the internet. I accept the risks. It could just be something it did on its own for convenience. 
Yeah, I think you're I think you're really referring to a lot of what happened with like the Mirai botnet, if I'm remembering, because it was Mirai was the the DVR cameras, right? D the DVR t the DVRs themselves for cameras, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, it uh, would it would phone up people didn't even know they could reach Log it in. from outside. Yep. Yeah. A lot of the people other just big plugged thing it is, in and walked away. Yeah. They don't think of it Those as Those DVRs a uh, weren't even like that big in the U.S. Like they were big in the U.S., but they were bigger out of the U.S. Yeah, so it's like Chinese. people with even less. Yeah. If anyone's considering making a botnet with this, uh, we can talk about how much jail time you might be facing. Uh, the, uh oh. Ooh, that sounds the, fun. Uh, the Russian developer of the TrickBot malware pled guilty and now faces a 35-year sentence. How did they catch him in ooh. Russia? That's exactly, I was reading this article to try to figure out how they caught him and I could not find it in the article. I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere else. I didn't dig deep. I think honestly, we talked about it when he got arrested. We, we probably did. It talks about another, like a second person who got caught who wrote the malware as well. And that guy only got like six, I want to say like six years. And then this guy gets like 35. <laughs> so they catch him and I think they caught him. Because it's a hard knock life for us yeah. it's a hard knock life <laughs> well because they're trying them in ohio right you so they, like what they law in ohio in Russia, though well hold on hold on uh, I mean, I as an ex -Ohio, listen as an ex-ohio resident i gotta say like a lot of people live there okay just because we don't have anything notable doesn't mean it doesn't exist um but yeah i mean basically i think Jeez. partially he's partially he's in ohio because there is a federal court in uh cleveland like there's a but Isn't anyway, there one in every state. There was no. That, that, that's no. just where they found. That's just where they found victims. If, so there was mean... ten victims in Northern District of Ohio, including Avon Schools, North Canton Real Estate Company, were defrauded of more than three point four <sighs> mil. So basically, yeah. Like, okay, local, here, here we go. It's a local issue. He was extradited to the U.S. from the Republic of Korea in 2021, and grows a joint a growing list of trick bot member members uh, who are in the crosshair of U.S. prosecutors. That's the one. Well, no yeah. ban list, right? You get on one of those, you can't go anywhere cool anymore. It's no, like, wait, he was extradited um, from from China to Korea. Not China. No, 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 no. He was from extradited Korea, from from Korea, to from Korea. Korea. Oh, so he was in Korea. He was in he Korea, was and then they caught him there. I mean, listen, they're probably tracking him and waiting for him to go to the right country, and then they cord yeah. they coordinate with those countries, uh, law enforcement, and then they get him extradited. So they eighteen other members of the treaty. same botnet have also been sanctioned, or you know targeted by sanctions so this is like, just the first one to decide he wants to go on a little weekend trip to korea a lot of times they know where they are and what they're doing they're just waiting for you know besides going there and sending a helicopter picking them up and then throwing them off a ship they're just waiting for him to. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something you might have a personal experience with there Ralph. <laughs> we got one of my ukrainian suspects when uh the war heated up over there and uh, he decided that maybe it wasn't such a good time to be uh, uh -huh. pro russian in ukraine and so uh he moved his family uh to turkey where they they picked him up it's like oh bad choice yeah. bad choice in turkey formerly known as turkey mm -hmm. so, um yeah the the interpol picked him up it's uh, amazing they actually paid attention to the red notice 35 yeah. years in prison face so, well will he actually uh, US, oh, so you don't get any free, oh. no free rides they're That's gonna throw gonna the bug at him, him, right? They gotta make. They gotta. But make okay, him. not to well. That so guy, it's but... minimum sentencing guidelines, right? So it's it's you know four to six months per offense, and it's easy to stack up, you know, hundreds of offenses. So back to Shodan. Where's all the? Would you rather be? <laughs> would you rather be in a U.S. prison or right now in Russia? U.S. prison. Ooh. U.S. prison. In which what? prison? Where in Russia? <laughs> Where in Russia? Good question. Good yeah. question. Let's clarify. No, too many US, details. U.S. Club Fed? Yeah. <laughs> I hear in, the, in Club the gulag Fed. is uh, pretty intense. Yeah. Moscow, okay. not as much. More rural Russia? Yeah. Well, maybe. you probably will get... Actually, Moscow is where you want to be because they pull the people from rural Russia, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah, um, so, okay. They're taming the foxes, I think, you know. That's let's talk about a new high score in red teaming. Uh, someone reached a two-year dwell time inside of NXP. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, this so story cool. this is, is so great. bonkers. For it. It Mainly is. because... More, NXP's, more of the company's response is... is yeah, bonkers. NXP's response is just insane. They were in there for two years... They came back and they said there was no material nope. adverse effects, but their whole press release. I love the Freaking press awesome. release. It reads, we have from time to time experienced cyber attacks attempting to obtain or access our systems and networks. Such incidents, whether or not successful, 
could result in misappropriation of our proprietary There's information. literally a, a quote from uh, 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 Jake in this article. Yeah, gotta, and this is right this, this, this is what they sent. This. this is what they sent their shareholders. Scroll up a little bit, Ryan. It's the text block up above, right there, that white okay. one. If you can zoom in on that, this is. I I'm just gonna say this is the worst, like 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 briefing i have ever seen from a company about a breach so, like okay they there may have like, been a hack possibly well, that well, hold could on, John. They possibly what they, cause it. what they should have said is they should have just said they stole a bunch of stuff but we think they're too stupid to figure out how to use it <laughs> in our oh, system so long like we that. just assume it was us <laughs> it's I not enough big like enough that. words chat gpt probably wrote this it's no this, this is completely <laughs> written by a lawyer this is yeah. this is a hundred percent written by a lawyer so that they have as many loopholes to argue about the <laughs> statement when brought in There's front of no I'm, I'm not way kidding. no yeah. way that's gonna backfire right Ian oh like, no it's yeah exactly no you can see this go to court and be like drats it's ironclad SEC uh, there's okay. nothing we can do this is like the Michael Scott quote where he's like do not ever for any reason, do anything to anyone at any time for any price. <laughs> so it keeps going. Exactly. Now, when I read this, I read it in Michael Scott's voice. Like, yeah. oh, thanks. I needed that. From time to time. Like, no. From, from time to time. The beginning of time until now, we uh, don't have. There can be. Back. There can be no assurance that this or any breach or incident will not have <laughs> material impact <laughs> on our operations or financial results in the future. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I know, think as yeah. as we've seen recently with Okta, you know, it's like, oh, there's nothing <laughs> wrong. Oh, well, maybe there's a little bit wrong. Oh shit, they got everything. No, no, oh. no. You've missed the step. It was just a few customers. Oh shit! It's all of them. Yeah. PlayStation I mean, just did the same thing too. Yeah, Spoony. that's exactly. Oh, and Target too. We just yeah, they were like, oh, it was just, just a tiny once. bit of people, and then a year I, I later, want they're like, a company oh. to come out and say, you know what? We got hacked. We don't know what they took, so we're assuming <laughs> they took everything. We'll let you know if it's smaller than that. But then I guess <laughs> this is why I'm not I'm not in we'll crisis you communications. Know. You know, we'll let you know if it's smaller than that. Stay with tuned. The dates on I, this? Does it say it, that it happened in 2017? And it, then no, no, uh, yeah, lasting, lasting in, from from late 2017 late. until the beginning of 2020. So again, and how are we just figuring out this? Only, oh, oh, like, yeah, that's 2024. The great part. How did like, they find out this happened? Somebody was investigating another incident. And in a saw different them company, logging into <laughs> NXP systems from the hack systems of the other company. Th they don't That's have any they logs. They're literally just like, we don't know what they have. We don't know They're if logless. we're screwed or not. But at, uh, so far, none of the factories are shut down. Oh okay, my thanks. god! Fine. I, it's I that have... it's that old argument. You don't keep the logs, so you can't figure out if you're hacked. Right. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Um, it works it's for totally VPNs. Working. It's got to work for companies. Oh my it's god! What a weird theory about this. So, How much of this do you think is shaped? by the people who sat down and said we have to write this and someone goes we should probably like be as vague as possible because uh that no. guy in texas at solar winds he's gonna go do time yeah <laughs> we don't say anything oh. real specific well no because now yeah. he has to go back because now he has to go back through all the statements he made between 2017 <sighs> and 2020 and mm. make sure he doesn't have any emails that said we're totally hacked right, and exactly. also that he didn't make any statements at the same time yeah. that says we're totally not hacked Ian, uh, you just had like something pop in my head. They're like, we've got to be as vague as possible. First draft. No, <laughs> vaguer. Okay. Then they Again. came back. This looks like three or four drafts deep. <laughs> <into Yeah. the laughs> this, this looks like a draft like after they consulted legal. And then they yeah. said, okay, let's let's take that that approved legal draft and add a bit more vagueness to it because <laughs> there's, there's just some things in there that i'm like it's either like they say in the discord like either you know your 150 dollar you know lawyer or just somebody ran it through that legal filter and then added their and then own they kicked little, it out they, it's they one of those they, two they did a little bit of tuning and kicked it out yeah they had a contest yeah. to see who could yeah. come up with the with the best vaguest thing that legal would approve and they won a gold prize. And by the way, exactly. if you're ever at a conference and I'm at that conference, I owe you dinner. 
because this is spectacular. Or so, said a good use yeah. chat GPT to write it prompt, be as vague as possible. <laughs> so how just, you chat guys, TV, hey guys, we're running out of time and we've well, been we, tiptoeing around it. Let's let's move on to Okta because well, yeah. wait, before what? we do, we have to we have to say there's gonna be a job posting new at NXP. <laughs> need, secu- <laughs> oh. secu- need security <laughs> hiring security engineers with three plus years of all time i mean security experience <laughs> 10 to 15 dollars per hour yeah so. 10 to fi- yeah but no octa yeah sorry for derailing but yeah octa oh. it's worse than we thought somehow but it's oh, honestly shock. though i will whoa, say whoa whoa did you not think that this was not coming dude well i no, think we I talked say, about it on this show that yes. it was coming I, I think- and my reaction is it's not actually that bad like okay, they got a list it of all the no, octa. I, I <laughs> absolutely <laughs> agree with them. No, no. I absolutely Here's my agree thing. with them. Okay, guess what? They said we have a list of all the octa customers. So do I. All the logins are public. Company.octa.com. It's not that hard. Hmm? Hey, they I got their role too. If anything, if anything, this. this list is just a target list, right? Because it yeah, shows you their name, the their email list. address, anything. Their well, like, well, no, I, I mean, feel they like they actually like, have the users and their level of no, permission. They don't. Right? They don't have users. No, I, All they have is. Do they have users? No. If you go go to the actual Octa's uh, report about it. Let's see where. What I, are they saying? I went. Oct- uh, uh, the the uh, way Octa I saw breach. it is, it is a customer list of all the Octa customers, which I already they have because I have OSINT. That's how I write. They have it. I could be uh, wrong. company company name, user type, address, username, and email. And uh, is that for every that have... single customer or is that just that's, for e, like the PSC? That's no, 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 guys. Here. It's not. Look, it's not every <laughs> single customer. I hate people ripping on Okta for this stuff. It was 99.6% of their customers. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't everybody. A solid Stop 0.4% rounding up. of their customers. Octo, rock solid. Uh, Stop rounding so up. I will so admit, it's, just the, were... it's just the company support accounts, right? So that's like. What I mean, you have your password guessing list is like ten things longer. I already had every I, user. I, my I knew my problem that. with all of that, Corey, is like what magical database only hold, ha, holds those fields, right? Like, well, the, oh, a so, CRM like, database. I mean, I, like seriously. So probably I would say nowadays fifty percent right. of breaches have no passwords. Legitimately, I'm gonna I'm gonna push back on the CRM database, right? Because the CRM database is gonna have pricing information, right? And that can okay, be yeah. a huge deal, right? If that gets exposed and all of these customers are like, wait, you got charged twice as much as me? And <laughs> in my in my contract, it said I got the best available price. I smell lawsuit. It's um, a big win for capitalism. Come on. <laughs> I, mean, I love this type of capitalism. This, is, this like, isn't over either. I mean, no. do, do you all not remember the RSA secure ID breach? It's like, oh, first it was just customer data. Oh, then it was secrets. Oh, then it was an entire fucking algorithm. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, no. Oh, no. It's all of the ASC or XML seed files for every right. single customer. And oh, by the way, we aren't going to replace those for all of our customers. Yeah. If you want new ones, suck it and buy new ones. Like, holy hell. Like, yeah. Hey, but if you're, you're in their, uh, if you're in their Fed ramp, you're fine. This, yeah. You're I fine. mean, so... I really don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'll, this isn't I'll, done. I'll, yeah. No. You know. I agree. For now, though, I am coming down on the side of I don't think it's that big of a deal because most of this I can OSINT. They literally have user enumeration as a feature on their entire website. Like, I, I don't, it's not, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. I, 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 oh, no. No, I just said on this no, one. But, 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 it, but here's the thing. I really want it to get worse between now and the end of the year, right? Because Okta with this is in the running right when now. When are your shorts in- coming to, John? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, John's got shorts on the market. What am I? Am I the new Wall Street bets guy? Yes. Uh, the, you know their stock. Value? Like I I'll just they... destroy the stock for security companies. Think... Hold your I'm hands up. Are they diamond? Are they diamond yeah, hands? They're not diamond. Yeah, hold, dude. hold. Um, but here's the deal. Right now, Okta is in the running. It's not there yet, right? Equifax has it. They're in the running for worst cybersecurity year ever. And mm. if it comes out that it's more than just like email address, first name, last name, address of their customers, they could take that mantle. Octa, they, it, it could be yours. You they could lost be- two billion in market cap but over still, 
That's yeah. a good start. That's a good start. Yeah. But it's not still, good. listen, it's John not. John has win. all the Black Hills money invested in shorts on Octa. It's got to go low. <laughs> I think we need the Infosec Razzies. Like we need yeah. the like. There's all these SC Media Awards for like most. Innovative okay, company. we can do it. Let's we do it. We need the uh, Infosec Razzies. Let's do it. We we, 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 we need to do it. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Don, yeah, we need to do this in San Francisco. We need to do this in San Francisco. Okay. During RSA, and we need oh to talk God. to the, the B-sides oh, folks. What a crowd. Are. Yeah, so we need to have the InfoSec Razzies. Like, what is, like, the worst code vulnerability? What is the worst? Actually, didn't Dan Kaminsky? I, 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 was gonna say, I thought they that have was the Black Hat thing. It's the ponies. It's the no. pony awards. No, yeah, no, 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 no. That goes the to the researchers. It's a, it's that the goes to the like, researchers. Pretty much were awards. Yeah. It's so, kind okay, of the here's, it's We just do it on the thing. show. That's the last show of the year. Is just the best. The awards of 2023 of like worst. Yeah, because you know, we can have our own. Boy, right? yeah, we can have our <laughs> yeah. own. You have yeah. the Screen Actors Guild. You can have the Oscars too. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. You're right. You're right. There's That's always. A little I, I would ask that you think about it. That you meditate on it. <laughs> I'm gonna think about <laughs> it. <laughs> Approve. Like uh, my 3D Approved. printers are already going in the background. And where's your stamp? We we yeah. need a stamp. Oh, yeah, right. mother risk accepted stamp. It's right here. And this show legal. Not you need one that's anyone legal. else. You <laughs> need that legal risk close. accepted. So <laughs> and legal risk accepted. I I don't know. I I I just I like like I and, and I I think Hal's with me on this. Like if they're like this is all that they got. I'm like in what system is that the only thing that's stored? Oh, like it's always worse. So I don't know. I mean, honestly, if we're giving out these awards, it's tough because like if we're going based on scope of data compromised, there's so I mean, with the movement breach, there's so many like there's yeah, there's so much data out there from every company. That's a downstream failure award, though. Like That's the gift that keeps on giving award versus to the direct impact award right so well they already have been been torn up by the mgm breach and all the other stuff and like the, i mean we don't know if there was but just because they built a feature called reset all mfa factors <laughs> doesn't mean it was their fault <laughs> i mean we don't know that we okay don't know that. maybe there's something that, in there it, if they know. have that and the attackers hit that button they'd win that award no, they no, do. No, that's literally they do. the they have one. They reset all mfa features. <laughs> no i mean if this if this octa thing elevates the level it's like actually all of our customers, all of your shits reset. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it reminds me of the story a couple of weeks ago where the attackers yeah. actually filed the SEC 8K. Yeah. That was freaking three. beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was so, gorgeous. Uh, that's like you're saying that's if Okta built play. like a doomsday device into their network. <laughs> <laughs> Octa self destructs. Everybody loses access to everything. Like, why did like, you code I'm that in? I don't What's know. Like a good no, idea. Don't worry about that. You know, it's fine. it was just in the sprint. I don't know. No one. <laughs> yeah. Just because right. we could, we didn't stop to think that we should. I as well as that. <laughs> and and Octa might find that it's worse. Like I mean, I had a, a a story where they said that you know Octa seems to have had a filter set. So when they ran the same things that you know to go hey what did the attackers get they go okay they only got this much and apparently they noticed that filter re-ran it and they're like oh they got everything so yeah, maybe yeah. there's going to be another layer to this to where they find another filter that was turned on and they go oh we turned that filter off and wait they got actually everything so. yeah oh yeah. sorry there was actually a foreign key in that database that was all mfa factors or something it, yes. it, it was just one of those like hidden I, columns in the database or something i just yeah. Yeah. does yeah. anybody know we who didn't Octa scroll? got to do the ir is it one of these you know like fixed bid lowest bid i i doubt players? that very strongly i'm i'm willing to bet that they've got they went all the way to the tippy top for this thing i bet you they got mandiant going on this one well, most I mean, insurance providers will dictate that anyway, so probably. Yeah, but Okta, I'm willing to bet, is going to put a lot of their own money. They're not going to be like to their insurance company, what's the best firm we can get for $120 an hour? And like, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, their insurance company will be like, we can't get in, we use Okta. Well, I mean, okay. I'm, oh. So I haven't heard from anybody that I know who's working it. That's all I can say. So. That actually curious. scares me a little bit, Hal. I know. Right? It should. It should, should, we, should we phone a friend? Should we call Jake? John, out. good news. Those Octa shorts are really going to pay off. They're going to. Yeah. They're coming in. They're coming they're in. Coming in. Those are. Yeah. They're... I love. I love talking to my friends, and eventually, like, like you know, how the conversations like that. Somebody gets real quiet. They're like, I can't talk about that anymore. And everyone right. at the table is like, Yeah, it's you. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. Drinks on us. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I haven't had one of those conversations yet, John. That's all I could say. So you, at least you can't say it publicly. So no. I, I, I want a right. vague response. I want to make just one like joke about a story that we didn't take because I, I just would have been so impressed if the attackers would have done this. So the Dollar Tree hack. Oh yeah. They yeah, made so everything and dollar. enough dollars. Actually, that's oh my I, god. I was like, why they stole the data from? So they stole a bunch of employee data, and I'm like, why? Why did they not just just for the fun deploy crypto mining that made them pay like a dollar twenty five? That was it. Hold, it on, was hold like, on, it's like what? I can, I can clear this one up. I can clear this oh, one up. I actually read this article. So okay. they were compromised via a third party. So they have like a data analytics company that they have, and they had all this data on Dollar Tree employees and customers, and they were actually compromised as opposed to Dollar Tree directly. Themselves. So, yes, yes. So this is a third SSNs. party. Yes. Oof. Yeah. So, it's yeah. called Zeroed In. They're actually changing the name to Zero Dade. Woo! I, uh, ooh, nice. <laughs> nice. Well played, sir. I'm, I'm not a web designer. I went to their website, though, and it needed improvement. I am... Um... <laughs> <laughs> with, with this particular one, I this is one of those things I always talk about with companies. They're like doing third parties going to the cloud. And I still come back to even with this story, right? The story isn't Dollar Tree got hacked, even though it was like when you get down, one of the third party providers was was hacked. And we see that again and again and again and again. And that actually creates a nice level of plausible deniability insofar as being culpable for what happened. Um, so there you go. Win one for the cloud and third party. Well, services. hold on. Is, is anyone shocked that the company that's all about being super cheap didn't shell out for the best third party provider? Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is it, watched, that's shocking. I just watched the John Oliver uh thing. Yeah, that. you should. Yeah, yeah I should yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I someone who has a Dollar Tree in their brutal. hometown. Yeah, really that was brutal. that was pretty yeah. bad. Is the rat reason? segment in it, where like it's, the uh, rat is like ignoring the Pringle. That section literally. The rat uh, is ignoring the Pringle. The, yeah, they're they're trying to hand a Pringle to a rat. I like I, 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 I that's probably how they're going to do incident response. They're just going to go on Twitter and say, "Hey, can anyone help out with this? We have all these logs just sitting out on the floor." Some today. random customer is like, "I believe in my Dollar Tree. I'm going to help out." So, <laughs> uh, and by the way, just to close it out here, I got to say, you know, we're talking about all these, you know recent hacks and and new CVs and stuff like that and and yet you know if you look down in the in the under Microsoft we still got you know 20,000 out of out of date unpatched local exchange servers 2013 and below available on the internet so just chilling just, just wait. chilling just yeah. just chilling Those so don't worry about lives. your freaking Zyxel devices or your Splunk instances Once... or anything like that when there's 20,000 freaking Exchange 2013 and older systems out there. Once again, well, Hal, that... you have to stop talking to those people because they're not tuning into the show, okay? They're not our target audience at all. Like, no one's like, oh, I found this. No. It's like and... you said earlier, right? I mean, those yeah. those people that are running that, I don't know. They could be hacked and they just don't care because the email. I, I also, oh. I, I can't believe this. Oh. I didn't notice this before, but on Zeroed In's website that also, it says, we serve many clients across many industries. And the first one is Department of Defense. Oh, <laughs> no. Did you see the, okay. uh, oh, the you know, dollar store reported first? So I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, dollar oh, we'll store be good. wasn't the only company affected by it. There was 2 million people affected, they said. And they got names, dates of birth, and social security numbers. And as uh, we know, Dollar Show only has three employees. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> well, the question I mean, is, the question is, is that anybody that was involved with the DOD haven't they already had their data oh, so many times, they're already yeah. so many times? But normally, so it's, times. By it's just other another. It's just states. another one. No, so normally. It's just, it's, yeah. Just throw it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it on the pile. What was, yeah. the, what was the OWA vulnerability? It was a while ago, maybe two, three years ago, and the FBI and I think CISA actually went around patching it on the internet. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, that was one of like 10, 15, zero days for on premise. Yeah, yeah. OWA. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering so at what bad. point that just doesn't become a service with this 20,000. They're like, can we just knock these out? Oh, that's called remediation services. Dude, lots of the big four people are trying to sell that to all their hacked customers. Yeah, but if you wait long enough, the FBI and CISA will do it. Do it for free. You can already get a free pen test from CISA. They search that, that, anyone's code in. Ransomware just needs to bundle it into their product. Or I'm telling just, you, they unransom you and they patch Dude, yeah, wait, that's true. You're the right. That's what ransomware people out there. 
that yeah, just roll that into your service. Like, you know, well, just the, the, doing it on the cloud. Not only, site. not only will we unlock your systems, but we're going to patch and update your systems from here on out. That's reoccurring. <laughs> <revenue on>. <laughs> we're going to put you in a subscription model. See, and we're going to patch you the whole That's time. Too good. <laughs> oh, as right, long as you're subscribed to clop premium, you'll be able to get all the latest <laughs> patches and we won't social engineer you at all unless required. Here at ShatteredSpider.io, we believe that security <laughs> is our business, and we're the best people to help you secure your environments because we know a thing or two because we've caused an incident or two. Yeah. And we don't <laughs> query the dark web. We are the dark web. Oh, and our dark customer dark service will fast. always ask for your password. Graham just pointed <laughs> out, <laughs> and you can't unsubscribe. And you don't even yeah. have to worry about giving us a credit card because we uh, already have that on file. We are it needs, we'll it needs it just to call us a protection racket, right? I mean, you know, it's like, we'll take it'd be, it'd be a you. terrible thing if something were to happen to one of your servers, Capiche? Tomato, tomato, yeah. come on. I, uh, <laughs> I, I think it's funny because somebody contacted me last week. They're like, you guys are so glib. All these bad things are happening in computer security and you guys just laugh about it. And it's horrible. It's impact. I'm like, oh, buddy, I, I've been doing this a long time. Not as long as how. But I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> this is the way we cope. Okay. Yeah. This is it. The way we survive. This Great is the way we survive. alcoholism, people. If you we choose. Took, if we took all this <laughs> yeah, and, and John, I, I dug out probably a really old t-shirt that you remember that says, we drink because you don't change your passwords. Yes. We need God, to bring So it's back. like we, we laugh because... I'll fill in yep. the blanks. You don't change your password. Because you there's still exchange 2013 the boxes on the internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Every, Ra Raza every said, we are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. All for $15 per user per month. <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the way, 10 years ago when it, when it went you know, unsupported, I said I would still be forensicating um, server 2003 boxes in 2023. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> and here I am. You know, it's like, I hate being what, right about that shit. Once you know? again, you, you, if you don't learn how to laugh at yourself or the industry or both like heartily, like you're, it's, it's a dark place. Like it's a really dark place. Like I kind of what started going down that route and you guys all pull me out. Cause I was pretty salty at the Aww. beginning of the show today. Um, that was humorous for that. Well, you did drive your car through, you drive the your car through. Well, I just, yeah. I just hate it when I find out <laughs> shit like that. And I'm like, how did I miss this? Like, what the living hell is wrong with people? And anyway. Here, John, here's a cute cat to help balance oh, out. No. Oh. 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 Look at his ears. God, he's a This is Pacha. He, he's he's in a little diapy and he's going to have a GoFundMe soon. So oh. stay tuned. Aww. Yeah. Those he's eyes. alive. There we he's go. Alive. He's, he's I feel sleeping. better now. All right. That's it, everybody. Give us the finger. Let's get out of here. We'll see you next week. I don't think he can, but you know, it's uh no we oh, wait. Yeah, you everyone put your hand up to the screen and do your no, no, do 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 it. Do <laughs> 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 later everybody. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs>